Today I will show you how to make beautiful project in Irish lace technique. We are working on the front side of the project. Firstly, we make a picture in real size, pin it on a mat, make small elements or motifs for this project, make a cord, then make trim for this cord, then I show you how to make this branch chaotic mesh and brides. For work you need mat, cotton yarns, scissors, crochet hook, pins. I make a picture in real size and pin it on a mat. Begin the work from making the ring. For this, I take stitch marker and wrap the thread 10 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I take these threads and make single crochet stitches into the ring. Here what we have. I have done single crochet. Insert the hook into the first stitch, make a slip stitch. I cut off this yarn. The ready ring you should pin on the painting. I have already pinned it. Then I show you how to make such flower. I take big stitch marker and wrap the thread around the marker 12 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I take the threads make single crochet into the ring. Make a chain. Make single crochet into the ring one, two, three, and so on. I make single crochet stitches. Insert the hook into the first single crochet, make a slip stitch. Let's make a round of petals. Chain three to bring up the yarn. One, two, three. Yarn over the hook. Make double crochet into the next stitch twice. One and two. Make double crochet twice into the next stitch. One. And two chain of two, one, two, make single crochet into the next stitch. The petal is ready. Then you should make three more such petal chain of two, 
make double crochet twice into the next stitch make double crochet twice into the next stitch chain of two and single crochet into the next stitch here what we have the ready floral element you should pin on the painting I continue with this element as you can see I have already done the big ring chain of two to bring up the yarn yarn over the hook make double crochet twice into the next stitch work with back loop make the first one and make the second one make double crochet twice into the next back loop chain of two make single crochet into the next back loop the first petal is ready in total it should be three of them we have done three petals we continue working make single crochet chain of two one two make double crochet three times into the each back loop So continue working in this way till the end of this round. We have done ruffle. Now I am going to work with front loops. Make three double crochet. You should continue working till this point. We have done ruffle. Make three half double crochet into the each stitch. One. Two. One, two, three. Continue working till this point. To complete this flower make two single crochet into the next loop I cut off the yarn the ready flower you should pin on the painting 
I pin at the flower. Then I'm going to work with cord on the burden. Let's begin the work. Burden is the thread in the half three times. The length of the cord is determined by pattern. Make a chain and single crochet. around the thread continue working with single crochet here what we have. I have got the cord on the burden. I take dark color of yarn. Insert the hook into the stitch. Make a chain. Make single crochet to the each stitch. So continue working in this way till the end of the cord. The cord is ready. I pin the ready cord on the pattern. I have already pinned it. As you can see, I saw the places of contiguity. Now I'm going to work with string. For this, I turn on the work. I take green color of yarn. Insert the hook at this point. Take the working loop bullet through, make a chain. Make single crochet. Let's repeat again. I lost my loop. Two rounds of work. Make single crochet into the each stitch. You should continue working with single crochet till this point. I have done single crochet till the point. Then I turn the work. Then I'm going to work with different all stitches. Make half double crochet into the next stitch. Continue with half double crochet. Make half double crochet into the same stitch. Then half double crochet into the next stitch. Continue half double crochet into the each stitch. Make half double crochet twice into the next stitch. I remove some stitches because I skip it the previous stitch. Make half double crochet twice. Make 
make double crochet. Make double crochet twice into the next stitch. And let's look at the pattern. Turn the work. Make double crochet, then double crochet. Make double crochet twice. As you can see, I always look at my pattern. Make double crochet twice into the next stitch. The height of the stitch and number of stitches you determine by yourself and you should always look at the pattern. Turn the work and we continue. Make two double crochet into the next stitch. One. Make double crochet into the next stitch. Make double crochet twice into the next stitch. One. And two. As you can see, you need to make smaller stitches. As you can see, you need to make some smaller stitches. Now I will work with half double crochet. One. Two. Make two half double crochet into the next stitch. Half double crochet. Two half double crochet. Make half double crochet into the next stitch. Turn the work. Make two half double crochet into the next stitch. Continue with the single crochet. Make single crochet into the each stitch. Then you should make single crochet till this point. I'm about to complete a row of trim. Make slip stitch into the next stitch. Make a chain. Now I will work with reverse single crochet. Make a very single crochet into the each stitch.
So continue working in this way till the end of this row. I have done reverse single crochet. I did reverse single crochet till this point. Now I will show you how to make the branch. Turn the work. Insert the hook into the cord, take the working loop with it through, make a chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's look. Then chain four, one, two, three, four. Turn the work, remove the hook, insert the hook into the cord, take the working loop, pull it through. Chain. Make single crochet into the next chain stitch. Make double crochet into the next chain stitch. Chain. Make double crochet into the next chain stitch. And make single crochet into the next chain stitch. Insert the hook into the chain, make single crochet. I pin this part of the work. Chain one, two, three. Chain of five. For the leaf, one, two, three, four, five. Remove the hook, insert it into the cord, take the working loop, pull it through. Make a chain. Insert the hook into the chain stitch. Make single crochet, then make three double crochet in a row. One, two, three. Make single crochet into the next chain stitch. The leaf is ready. Insert the hook into the chain space. Make single crochet. Chain one, two, Three chain of six for the leaf one, two, three, four, five, six. Remove the hook, insert it into the leaf, take the working loop, pull it through, make a chain. Make single crochet into the next chain stitch. Make four double crochet in a row. One, two, 
توم تري اند فور Make single crochet into the next chain stitch. Make single crochet into the chain space. Then you should make next leaf. For this you should make chain of seven. I have done the leaf, I did chain of 7, then I connected with main cord, I made a chain, then single crochet, 5 double crochet in a row, make single crochet, and single crochet into the chain space. Continue working on the branch, let's make one more petal. I have done petal. As you can see, I join it to the ring. Let's make one more petal. Chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two rounds of work. Chain. Make single crochet into the second chain stitch away from the hook. Make five double crochet in a row. One, two, three. Four. And five and make single crochet to the last chain stitch. Turn the work. Insert the hook between stitches, make single crochet. I pin this leaf, turn the work, insert the hook into the chain stitch, make single crochet, one, two, three, Insert the hook into the single crochet, make single crochet. Make a chain of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Turn the work. chain make single crochet into the second chain stitch away from the hook then five double crochet in row one two three And four. Five. Make single crochet into the last chain stitch.
I pin this sleeve, insert the hook into the chain stitch, make single crochet. Insert the hook into the chain stitch, make single crochet, one, two, three, make single crochet into the single crochet, and then you should make two more such leaves. I have done all leaves of this branch. In this case I made single crochet and join it to this element. The branch is ready. I'm going to work with brides. Two hours of work. Work with the needle and threads. Two hours of work and with the needle go through the stitch of the cord. I leave long piece of the yarn, then with the needle go through the side loop of the flower. The base for the Bright is ready. I pin this part. Well, then it'll go through the stitch. Well, then it'll go through the stitch. And I will work with I wrap this thread one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten times. The bright is ready. Well, then it'll go through the stitch to secure the yarn. Well, then it'll go through the stitches of the cord till the point where I need it to make the new bride. I have done all brides. All three places I will fill it up with chaotic mesh. For decoration I will use beads. Before the work I thread seed beads onto the working yarn. Begin the chaotic mesh. Make a chain. Chain one, two. Yarn over. Double crochet into the cord. Draw seed bead. Make a chain. Chain one, two. Remove the hook. Insert it into the floral element. Take the working loop, pull it through. Work 
one, two, three, chains, two rounds of work, remove the hook, insert it into the floral element, take the working loop, pull it through. Make a chain, draw a seed bead, make a chain one, two, yarn over and double crochet into the chain space. Chain one, two, three, double crochet into the chain space. Throw seed bead, make a chain with seed bead, chain one, two, make single crochet into the chain space, then you should continue by yourself. I have done the chaotic mesh in all three places where I have and as you can see, I decorated my this element with bead. The project is ready, we can retouch it from the mat. Here how the project looks like. This is the back side of it. Today we have learned how to make beautiful project in Irish lace technique. For this project we use different colors of yarn, some elements that we did in the tutorial. Also, you can use such motifs or elements in other projects. For example, like this, while making your own project, you can change colors of yarn, flowers, branches, chaotic mesh and brights. Beautiful clothes in Irish lace technique you can find in our internet store. The link will be found. The link you can find a link of this store in our description below the video. Thanks for watching.